YouTube, thank you so much for joining me in today's new video. In today's video, like the title says, I'm going to be sharing with you my huge, literally massive, UK vintage clothing haul. Now I have been shopping up a storm again, yes I am this cheesy, I do actually speak like this in real life. Uh, I've been to and from London for the past two weekends, uh, all about Birmingham where I live and I even went to Nottingham so I really have been shopping up a treat and found some amazing amazing pieces so without further ado shall we get into this, this today's video, my UK vintage haul. Now in here as you can see Carefully protected in a little box and plastic, not that I like plastic, but just protect it. This is my favourite find. Now, I absolutely am in awe of this find. I was so excited when I found it. I thought it was like Christmas and birthdays for the next 10, 20 years and for the rest that I've ever, always ex already experienced in my life rolled into one. Um, like, favourite favorite thing ever. I've always dreamt to find something like this. So now I'm going to be really mean and save this to the end. Just so you know, I'm going to put this just inside there, just to tempt you enough. Now my sofa does look a little bit weird because you'll see in a second I have my glamorous assistant Lily with me again, but she has hurt her leg unfortunately, so she is not allowed to jump on and off the sofa, so I've put the sofa cushion on the floor for her, like you do. <laughs> so anyway, enough of me rabbiting on, let's get down with the finds. Now, start off as I mean to go on, now this is an amazing, super chunky, very oversized um, cardigan. It's got a zip front to it, Aran knit, and it's got the beautiful colours on it. Uh, I found this this Saturday in London. Now, I am six foot one, and I would totally be able to wear this as a dress. Imagine this, you know, in autumn with a pair of um, opaque black tights on, some ankle boots, waist belt. This is gonna be amazing actually can't wait to try this one in on I haven't taken the photos of it yet but I just really love it it was in the menswear section but psh, who cares when something's this called and it's a Richard Bateman hand knit wool cardigan super cool love the colours can't wait to show you on next we have a, a very classic must have some a little uh, blouse in a beautiful colour this is a little silk Indian top uh, super lightweight, really cute. If you go on holiday, this will look great. Like, just such an easy top to wear. It looks great for shorts, you can dress this up, dress this down really easily. Everyone needs to tuck like this in their wardrobe. Really pretty. Next, we have this very beautifully coloured, obviously has a matching waist belt here, which I just draped around my neck. Um, like, wool sort of tartine-esque coat. It's the colours that really got me on this. I just thought they were absolutely beautiful, very autumnal. Again, I know it's not quite the season, however, with vintage you have to buy it when you see it, don't you? I've made many a mistake uh, myself by dithering uh, with vintage. You can't dither, and I no longer dither. So, always good to plan, a a plan it in ahead, isn't it, for your stock? So, this is why I've been buying up these beautiful coats. So, that's really nice. And look at that, look at the uh, colours and the colour of the lining. What a beaut. So, very nice. Down there. Next, we move into something more summery for you. We have a very nice cobalt, almost, you know, there has been beautiful weather here, like sky blue, a silk shirt. Now, you know what, I don't think you can go wrong with a silk shirt, especially when they're oversized like this, and it has like the nice sort of uh, breast pocket detailing. They're just really easy to wear, and I think, you know, if you want to look a little bit more fancy, obviously sometimes you can't wear your wolf t-shirt at all the time, hands down one of my favourite t-shirts ever this is um I would like wear this and like put on like my lay necklaces and then you know I've got myself a bit of a fancier look but still really casual because I like to be casual because like I think shirts and tops really should just be oversized in general so that's really nice yeah oh now if I had a real job and <laughs> worked in an office I would totally wear this classic beige shift dress with a beautiful very super flattering leather this is, um, waistband detailing, it also has a beautiful buttoned tab detail here and concealed zip fastening to the back, really beautifully made, stunning dress and you think wow, this is a good find, da da da, wait till you see, 
the matching jacket. Oh yes, it's a two piece and boy is it a two piece that works. This is a matching jacket of joy. Look at that, I just love how beautifully made it is. Like all the attention to detailing, this again, all the leather, um, like their belt straps and the sort of finishings really set this apart and it's like a luxurious piece really I think just from the finishings alone. Um, it's made in England, a Mark Russell piece, very 60s mod this is, you've got the notched lapel, front button fastening, it's a beaut, really nice and it's got pockets in there as well. So if I had a real job, worked in office, you know powerful businesswoman working in the city I would totally wear this. Look at the bee's knees, or something slightly ruder if you want to say the dog version, which I won't. Ah, now, next. You know what I love about vintage as well? You can go from like, casual um, wolf t-shirt for example, to, you know, high power businesswoman uh, suit and jacket, sorry, dress and jacket set, to casual beach wedding dress. I love that, you just can't get it anywhere else and it just is so much fun. Now, I think this is really pretty. This really beautiful, beautiful embroidery around the neck. Uh, made in England again. If you're looking to, for a really sort of beautiful, simple and elegant, um, sort of kind of casual wedding dress, but obviously you can make this a bit more fancy with your accessories. I think this is beautiful. It's a shift dress silhouette, white, and yeah, it's a classic, I think. The, the, the detail around the neck really sets it apart though, I think, lovely. Made in England again, this one. Ooh, this is a beaut. This was found in Birmingham. This dress um, has lived the high life, I'm not going to lie. Not only is it a Saks Fifth Avenue dress from the 60s or 70s, I think. Look that. Look, just look at that extravagant detail it's like double layered you've got a chiffon going on with like the beading work on it you've got a, um, layers upon layers of chiffon you have the most amazing like bow waist belt here you can see this is a bow yes and it like goes all the way round you have loads of layers and this dress is in literally immaculate condition immaculate condition was worn by a dancer on the QE2. Hello, how amazing is that? Now I just start to imagine like all the cool things that this dress would have seen, who might have met, who might have danced in front of, you know, oh, just amazing. It's such a beautiful cocktail dress, you know, black dresses never ever get out of fashion and to me this one is probably even cooler than it was back in its original days. Beautiful. Next, we have a, another classic. This is a Betty Barclay um, houndstooth coat. What I really liked about this was the um, patent leather trim detailing. I think this really makes it like super 60s mod cool because you know, a mod girl in the 60s, oh, so cool. And I love a bit of patent black leather. Like all the leather detailing down here, down the, the front of the coat, the collar and on the back, it's all patent leather, so this isn't just your average virgin wool, I might add, uh, hands tooth coat, this is, you know, one of those sorts of coats. Also, hands tooth black and white coat is a classic, isn't it? Now, you might have seen this on my Instagram already, this is a, like, it's just a, such a cool peplum top, pure 80s this is, this is old Wallace, um, but I just love the structure of it, like this pleat, de pleat detail on the peplum is just amazing. Beautiful rust colouring, structured bodice as you can see. Uh, and you know what, it reminds me of like a quality street in the best possible way. And I just think, because actually it is quite a long top, it's a very elegant peplum. So I just love it, it's great. And I teamed it with this. Oh, it stays. Ta-da! Uh, absolutely amazing like burnt ready orangey high-waisted leather pencil skirt now this is an outfit that will get you noticed for all the right reasons it is like you know that um whole trend of colour blocking this is how you do it 
love it. If you want to go and check out the picture, either go to my website or my Instagram at Ailey's Attic Vintage, whichever you prefer. Next, uh, we have another classic here. Um, a um, casual, I'm going to call it a casual bat wing sleeve because it's a very gradual bat wing. Um, very nice dark forest green with a little bit of hairy bright greenness to it really nice uh, by Richard Shop so it's a nice one this is midi length and actually it is probably 14 so I think it's good that you can start finding like larger vintage sizes as well now next we have another silk shirt a bright pink one this time again ooh, this one has slight shoulder probably that's why I can't hold it <laughs> I'm blaming the shirt not myself it has pockets again and it also has a little rolled cuff to it and it's just cool well actually need to say something next a very pretty casual summer soft gold knitted little tank top really super soft and i love like the celtic sort of style pattern to it for lack of a better word you know me in my words so yeah, like that aha you will love this I just know it. Now, imagine an oversized cream satin bomber jacket. Oh yeah baby, we have it. It has all the classic detailing, loads of pockets and trims and the big funnel colour and then to make it even super cooler, <laughs> it has the funniest label which says Best Buys, obviously I film it reversed, so just say it, I promise, but this is just such a cool jacket, pure 80s, 90s vibe going on here, this is 80s, late 80s, but it's got that whole 90s sort of streetwear vibe to it, what can I say, it's just a classic isn't it, I love the colour, go with everything, and what, what, how I would wear this, sorry I get over excited sometimes, I don't know, you can tell when I really like something, I would love to wear this over like that little uh, Saxe Avenue um, cocktail dress because I love like pairing the ultra feminine with like the oversized slightly masculine sort of street style look, I just think it is always cool and I always feel sort of comfortable dressed like that myself if I was to ever go anywhere fancy enough to wear that black dress which I don't think I will, but that is how I start it. Next, another little summer blouse, so to speak. Uh, this 70s, I'd say, with the colour. A uh, little um, brown and off-white and black patterned uh, uh, shirt. It also has the super cute material waist tie. So, dead easy, summery shirt to wear. Really nice. And again, you know, you could probably wear this to work if you want to dress it with, like, smart trousers. I think it's really nice. Next high-waisted summer skirt suit white brown and dark brown pencil skirt and then it has this cute little top to go with it again it's probably like 70s i'd say and it has a really nice sort of detail on the shoulder there next still going <laughs> a cute um little long sleeve mini dress i really like the print it reminds me of uh, birds uh, feet and then it has if you can see that asymmetrical ruffle to the front elasticated waist I think this would look nice as a little wedding guest dress uh, really pretty aha now I found two of these obviously I'm not going to show you twice because that would be silly uh, a, I know it's not the weather again but um, black fair old hand knit jumper now it's got a great print to it long sleeves I found two of these so you can literally do his and her jumpers I love it. I am obviously totally going to try and get Anthony to do that. Wish me luck. Uh, next week's video actually is going to be uh, called When I Took My uh, Boyfriend Vintage Shopping With Me. So I filmed him uh, when I went shopping on a Saturday in London. So <laughs> you should check that out. <laughs> next we have this black and white uh, cotton Jiang Sam so right, uh, dress. It has the frog closures going all the way down at the side, which is quite rare. Getting towards the end of the pile now, so you have to see the super cool find. Next we have this uh, really 
really cute sorry i thought i wasn't filming then um purple uh zigzaggy stripe jersey dress very soft and it has like a pleated skirt detail so i can hold it up high enough for you to see reminds me of mazzoni this does unfortunately it is not but it does have that mazzoni boho uh, vibe to it and it has a really cute rope waist tie belt thing with a little metal metal fastening so very nice oh this is really cute now like a very soft lightweight light pale bluey grey waffle jersey fabric i love this embroidery detail here and how it pleats out over the bust and it has the epaulets really really nice detailing and it has even buttoned detailing on the pockets just all that extra detail and this is from japan this dress originally unfortunately i have not been back again myself uh, to buy buy some more stock but i actually found this in london so a little bit of a treat in itself really obviously i'd love to go back to japan because it was amazing ah oh. everyone needs a classic shirt dress in the must have seasonal neutral color of beige don't we add a bit bit of uh, animal print to it and you are a, onto a winner this is also vintage m s and needless to say the coolest shirt dress ever Next, if you want to add some stripes you should, to your wardrobe, uh, vertical stripes like this are the most flattering as it elongates you. And this is in a classic colour combo of blue and white. And I just really liked the big oversized colour. Again, this is another Japanese little dress I found in London at the weekend. So, very nice. Now, this is the penultimate find before we get to the find on this thing. So, this is 90s. Now... I don't tend to buy a lot of 90s stuff because it seems a bit weird to buy like you know 90s clothing doesn't it but you know it's classed as vintage so this is a vintage dress and it's like a really beautiful beaded soft grey backless wedding dress now it's very long it's got a train it's got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of fabric and I just love the backless design of it and I just really love everything about it to be honest so why not eh so from the 90s we're gonna go back almost 100 years to the 20s now I cannot tell you how excited I am to find this now I I have, think I've previously said in one of my other videos I've always dreamt about finding a few things in my vintage life no in my life slash vintage career is what i was going to say and something from the 1920s has always been one of them and this is literally a dream now i have wrapped it up in layers of tissue paper to protect it as it is a beautiful vintage wedding dress Uh -huh. wait till you see what came with it now it is like a um, cream colour the sleeves are sheer and it has the most amazing beadwork all over it it's in great condition for its age let me just stand up so you can see it better now it's a classic 20s design isn't it the way that that beading sort of swirls around it's just great now I would have been happy just with this but wait it gets better with it in this little box came the most amazing accessories now to me this literally just blows my mind now if someone was ever to ask me what my favorite find is I'm gonna have to say this now because these are all wax flowers, something that I didn't know even existed until I found this. Now a little wax flower crown, classic 20s style, look how great of a condition it is in. You can just imagine like the 20s bride wearing this, can't you? And it'll be worn like this, just so you get an idea. Like that. 
just pinned in like a hair grip but that's not oh so that's the little crown tiara we then have little corsage unfortunately there was no picture of the actual original bride wearing this dress but i imagine it was pinned sort of here on the dress that matches the little crown perfectly how cute i just love it little tendrils and it's all in such great condition like you can literally see how it's been made you can see that the little wax leaves then we have what I can only assume is a little bracelet because again it matches like the crown and the little um, badge or corsage perfectly. Is this? And it zooms in. Come on, camera. There you go. How cute is that? Look how tiny the wrist is as well. Just so pretty. Perfect colours of like green and cream as well. Perfect colours. And then this little teeny tiny tiara and crown. I think this was a little bridesmaid's headdress. Because it's so cute. I'll show you the back so you can see how it's worn. Isn't that amazing? And then, which I only discovered actually when I got home, because you can imagine my excitement. With the, probably the smallest gloves I've ever seen, these are little white leather gloves which the bride would have wore as well. There's the buttons at the back. They're so small. I do have big hands, but look. <laughs> oh, hang on. I don't think they're gonna fit somehow. <laughs> and a little, little belt. Isn't it amazing? So amazing. And you'd never guess where I found this. In this box, this is how it came in apparently, in a house clearance place in London. Can you imagine, like someone would just give that away? It's sad really, isn't it? But also I am very happy because hopefully um, whoever buys this from me is going to go to a lovely home and I can just imagine that it's now going to have like another extended bit of life, so that's good isn't it? But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on today's new video. video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching my huge uh, UK vintage haul video as I love doing them. I love showing what I find. Uh, tune in for next week's uh, fun video if you get my drift. And also I am back doing my life in a weekend in life of vintage dealer videos every Sunday. So I've got a big one coming for you this Sunday as it will combine two, maybe even three weeks of work. So, and like I said, I have been out and about so don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this video and also give me a thumbs up that would be great thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching my name is Rachel Sutherland this has been a uh, UK vintage haul video for <laughs> Ada's Attic Vintage I'll learn to talk one day thank you so much bye